everything has to be done, all the obstacles. So I think you guys are pretty well in tune with what's going on here and what you need to do. Any questions, let me know, but I think we should be pretty good to go. Alright. All right. Well, there's going to be the swing rope and the swing pole. Yeah, the pole's just going to spin the guy. I think it's got to go all the way. There's no way you can swing off this. Put it, put it where it works up there, and if we have to cut the deck back, we'll cut the deck back. Yeah, I have a, a, a file full of uh, next generation obstacles. One was a, a, a blizzard, an artificial blizzard. One was a, uh, a tsunami. <laughs> so thank you guys for coming out. Today we are going to be testing all of the obstacles for the 2015 menu for TM 2.0. It's a pretty rough cut, but the main point is to test the core concepts of the obstacles so we can actually see what components of each one work. So what we have here is called Birth Canal. It is a low crawl under a water-filled liner that presses you into the ground. It's a very simple experience uh, to explain it. It's not that different than a kiss of mud where you're just crawling under barbed wire, but it's actually much, much more claustrophobic feeling. It'll definitely test mental grit and it's a good physical challenge as well because it forces you to crawl really low to the ground. Oh man, I love it. I'm like, when is this going to end? <laughs> yeah, I like looked up for one second and realized I was only halfway through and I was like, uh-uh. If I came up to this on course, it would take me a good like second to like work myself yeah. up to go through it. Well, yeah. you see people standing on top of Walk the Plank right now freaking out because they're afraid of heights. Yeah. We don't really have anything that tests claustrophobia. Well, this, it's dark, it's claustrophobic, and there's weight on me. Like that's like the trifecta. Yeah. It's a winner. So you're never gonna cool. Got some 30 inch swamp eels. They, they don't have teeth, they're harmless to humans. But put a couple hundred in. Slithering <laughs> around, you're crawling over you. And... So this obstacle is called Meat Slab. What we're trying to test here today is if the ropes are the right length, if the knots at the right point, if there's the right length between them. Go over at you, James. Make enough now. Yeah, it's where you have to let go to get the other one. All right, so I think we've tested what we want to see with that. We just need to make the wall taller? Yeah. We've got our CEO coming out and pretty eager to show him what we've come up with and happy to hear his feedback. I'm sure he's going to take a look around here and be excited about some of the features and probably have some comments about the other ones. I get where this is going and it's, it's heading in the right direction, but there needs to be that sense of upward trajectory. Yeah. So there's that outstretch and like you're kind of propelling yourself forwards. So this is good, but it definitely needs a little more work. Go! Ah! 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 Guys, come stand over here. We're going to talk to you. Yeah. Does it hurt now? Yes! A lot. Oh. I think I avoided. Oh, no. no. <laughs> you want a visual of people going through thick smoke. Yep. Right? Kind of wincing as they go through it. But it has to be the yeah. thick gas, a bit of coughing, a bit of burning of the eyes, right? This must be really visually cool. A mixture of fog juice and the chili extract, just pure capsaicin. It'll get heated up, it'll get pumped out the other side as a thick fog. We're waiting in this chamber to test out being gassed. All right, update from the tent. There's no effect on the eyes. It's hard to say. So, sometimes they just sort of congeal in your mind, but you it's a conglomerate of ideas that cross paths and you end up with something that no one has ever seen before. <laughs>